Welcome back to Horns Up USF All Access. One year ago, Vice President of Athletics Michael Kelly announced the addition of women's lacrosse to its roster of successful women's programs at USF. And joining us now is USF's women's lacrosse head coach, Mindy McCord, to tell us more. Welcome, Mindy. Thank you. Now tell me, what was your initial reaction when you heard that USF was starting a lacrosse program? I was so excited because, you know, adding another Division One sport to the state of Florida is just amazing. And Michael Kelly contacted the athletic director to have a conversation with me. And the rest is in the books. What drew you to want to come to Tampa and to USF? The city is amazing. I mean, Champa Bay, professional sports, succeeding. The beach, I'm a beach girl, you know, by nature. Um, the commitment of Michael Kelly and President Law, um, their strategic visionary leadership and uh, support to build state-of-the-art facilities uh, from the new stadium to the new indoor performance center and our locker rooms. Talk me through what it's like building a program from the ground up. It's so exciting. You know, we get to hire an amazing staff, which is in place, and you have to have a talented, committed staff, recruit, recruit, recruit a lot of players, and we get to sit and do a lot of fun logistics. We just ordered our first uniforms, and, you know, the players got to pick their numbers, and, you know, we get to do some of that fun stuff. Adidas is an amazing sponsor, so, you know, we got some great <laughs> branding here. Well, National Signing Day is right around the corner. Talk to me about the talent that's coming to USF and also your playing style. So we have 20 players committed in this first class, and um, they range from, you know, players that were formally recruited, you know, by some other schools that, you know, decided they wanted to be legacy builders here. Um, some established um, players who are so excited to, to, to be a first here. Leaders, good culture families, and so um, our style of play fits them. They're gritty, they're aggressive, it's a fun run and gun style of play, and it's fast. Now, what is special about Florida for the sport of lacrosse? I mean, we're in the warm weather, right? <laughs> you can't be playing in the warm weather. And it's a fun spectator sport. You know, when these fans come out, they're going to see us playing in a conference, the American um, Athletic Conference, with some of the top teams in the country right here in Tampa Bay. And all these young ladies in, the, in this area are going to have great role models and have an opportunity to play the sport, too. Why should everyone in Tampa be excited to watch the sport of lacrosse? Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's such a fun sport to play and watch. And we, we want to have 5,000 people at our first game. And we want to be um, one of the most dominant teams in this region. And we want to be the highest attended games. Mm. You know, so I think it's, it's going to be fun because of the style of play that we play and the amazing talent across the country that we're going to be able to bring here and play those teams too. How do you envision the culture of your team? I, I see our team being legacy leaders, women that can set the standard for future players to come. Um, I see our, our families being great um, leaders and community members, you know, that, that we're going to be Team USF, um, whether it's at our school, in the community, or in our households, you know, we want to be the representatives that, that make this, this university proud. Well, why is a culture like that so important? How much of a difference does it make? It's, it's the life breath of your team. When you have a good culture, there's a lot then that you can reap the rewards because, you know, talent is one aspect, but you really have to focus on having the structure and the continuity of good people in your program. And when you have people that have a great vision and belief, belief is one of the number one things that's going to be integral to our success. Well, finish it up by talking to me about the bond of this coaching staff. Yeah, I, my best friends, I get to work with my best friends every day. Um, everyone here could be a head coach, right? From Coach Paul, former NFL coach, to Coach Britt, our associate head coach, who um, one of the best recruiting coordinators in the country came from Stanford, you know, a champion. They're champions. They have a champion mindset. Um, they're champion people. And we're family. And the love that we have between us, I hope, reciprocates what our players feel with each other. Well, thank you for joining us yeah. here today. We all can't wait for the future of lacrosse. Thank you for having us.
Well, that is all the time we have for this week's show. Don't forget, you can catch the next Bulls football game this Saturday, November 12th at 12 p.m. against the Southern Methodist University Mustangs. The Bulls are returning to the Bay Area, so join us at Raymond James Stadium this weekend. And then join us Sunday night at 9 right here for more exclusive footage. For Karen and myself, thanks for watching. Have a great night.